I'm Ellen Fisher, a wife and mother sharing our story of our simple island life. We love all things healthy vegan eats, homeschooling, and gentle parenting. share our love of gardening and growing our own food with goals to become sustainable on our land. I share healthy vegan recipes in my ebooks filled with tips, encouragement, vibrant photography, and delicious food that you and your family can enjoy. Check them out at ellenfisher.com and also linked below. Yeah? Watermelon time! Good. Sammy stands on, or Sandy stands on the cooler, he's like, watermelon time! <laughs> watermelon time! Scotty, how's your watermelon? Mm. What are you talking about? Go. <laughs> Is it cold? had a camp out with the older boys. And she made a video and I'll put the link below for you to watch it. They had a great time. Did you have a good time on this? Uh, yeah. Should we send them on to make the perfect salad? The first element to build your salad is greens. I personally enjoy tender and mild leafy greens as the base, like crispy romaine, green and red leaf lettuce, or butter leaf lettuce. Then add some stronger greens like kale, spinach, or arugula to go with it. I generally choose one to three types of greens for a salad at a time. Next, add other veggies and non-sweet fruits like cucumber, bell pepper, tomato, diced onion, cabbage, diced celery, etc. For this particular salad, we chose cucumber and bell pepper. Choose one to three added veggies for a salad at a time. Mix it up and remember not to get in a rut choosing the same vegetables for your salad every time. Next, add another element of texture, like some kind of seed such as hemp seeds or sunflower seeds or pomegranate seeds. Added crunch to a salad goes a long way. Choose one or two of these items for salad. Next, you want your salad to be filling and satisfying. So add a filling high calorie plant food to your salad such as a cup of leftover rice or quinoa, baked diced potatoes or squash, or some type of beans. We generally choose one fruit from this list per salad, and we added garbanzo beans this time. Next up is your dressing, also known as the flavor and ways to coat your salad and make it delicious. There are four elements I've found that are crucial to every delicious and satisfying salad, which makes a perfect dressing every time. You definitely don't have to blend your dressings or even mix them up in a separate bowl every time. It just depends on which type of foods you choose to dress your salad. You need a sour, like lemon or lime juice, sauerkraut or apple cider vinegar. A fat, avocado, tahini or nuts. A hint of sweet, like dates, maple syrup or dried figs. And something salty or with spice, like salt, sea vegetable dulce, cayenne pepper, black pepper, all the different types of spices like turmeric, etc. Here are some examples. A super simple dressing is to top diced avocado over the salad with one tablespoon of mustard and a tablespoon of maple syrup. Another option is to dollop hummus over your salad, which already has the fat, salt, and sour in it, and call it a dressing. Or you can stir together tahini, maple syrup, and lemon juice. Be sure to discard the lemon seeds. For a blended dressing, take nuts or seeds like pine nuts or pumpkin seeds and blend with one pitted medjool date, lemon juice, spices, and water. Add half a zucchini to the blender to bulk up the dressing. Some exceptions to this salad guide is that if you aren't a fan of sweet in a salad, you can totally skip it. Another one is that sometimes the simpler the salad, the better. A really simple salad of greens, cucumber, lots of avocado, lime juice, and a little bit of salt is so delicious. Notice how it has most of the elements required to make a great salad. Greens, extra crunch from cucumber, fat from the avocado, sour from the lime juice, and salt. Not every salad needs to have lots of ingredients, and simple meals can be very satisfying. Another tip is to consider adding fresh herbs like cilantro, rosemary, or sage. 
So I hope you find these salad guidelines helpful and enjoy some big filling salads this week. And always remember to chew your food well. Take the time to sit peacefully and enjoy a big salad weekly. I don't always have the time to sit and chew large salads every day, but when I do, I make sure to chew them well. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next video.